Monday. So happy Monday to everyone. This is Dr. Erica. I am here to talk to you for a hot second, just to kind of let you know what's going on in my world, because you know what? I'm feeling like what happened today could be a little message. So I want to make sure I do what I can to help. So that's why I'm here today, just to just to say a few words about what's going on in my world. So you might be wondering, so we got a little different setup. You can't quite see. I've got laptops down here and keyboards, all kind of stuff, because this day has been filled literally with everything. So today's topic is, is just getting it done and taking control of the narrative of your day, because I feel like this is such an important lesson because it's so important not to let things derail you because sometimes there are things that aren't always in our control or things just don't go exactly how we want. And I want you to have the tools to know that it doesn't have to be that way. So I'm gonna tell you what happened in my day and kind of how I made it through you through it and tell you a little story. So let's go ahead and get going. My name is Dr. Erica, Harvard trained double board certified psychiatrist and integrative lifestyle coach. I'm on a mission to help women feel seen, valued, and whole on their own terms. But I'm coming to you, it doesn't matter your gender. I'm just here with over 15 years of experience in human behavior to help things be better for you and help you get through all of this crazy time with your sanity intact. So let's go ahead and get started. So this day started off really early. It started off before 5 a.m. because I was tired yesterday, so I didn't come back to Chattanooga hotel room. I didn't make it back. So I got up early this morning to get back. I was like, okay, you know, I got it. You know, I hopped on. My new thing are these podcasts. So I listened to Dr. Knee's Docs in the Box. It was really good. I highly recommend it. Then listen to two Oprah podcasts. I get here. Everything's great. Made it to my hotel. Was going to drop off all my stuff before I go to work. And guess what? My trunk won't close. So I opened the trunk to take the luggage out. Trunk won't close. So I'm like, well, got to go to work. Got to see these patients. Got to make the donuts. So I went ahead and just brought my stuff up. I'm like, well, nobody's going to steal this car in this parking lot. And I see some people are on say hello let me know you're here and if you feel like anybody needs this message please tag it tag them if you feel like anybody needs this message please share if you're watching it later no worries put hashtag replay in the comments and excuse my lights making me look super shiny today i'm like glowing i'm like super shiny so i bring my stuff up to my room by then i'm almost a little bit late oh thanks for coming on camila thank you so much so i'm running a little late at this point so I'm rushing out the door, get down in my car, realize, number one, I hadn't put earrings in and I have these COVID earrings. So I have a pair of really small earrings. It's easy to sanitize that I typically wear to work these days and I don't wear necklaces. Necklace comes with another story, which will also include why I don't have on the necklace I was supposed to be wearing. So I'm, I head out, get going look down, realize I have on my travel sneakers, not my work shoes, but I'm like, I need to get to work on time to go to treatment team. I'm gonna get there, I'm just gonna get there. So the first thing is, is rem the first step is, is even if it starts going haywire, decide in your mind, you're gonna get there, you're just gonna get it done. So I decided I'm gonna get it done. So I'm driving to work, trunk flying open, trying to nod at people like, yeah, I know my trunk is up. So, I get to work, tell the guy at the front gate, hey, you know, I know the trunk is up, it won't close. So I walk into work, just get my stuff done, get started, end up asking someone to go see if they can make my trunk work first. And we see all these patients, it's patient after patient after patient. So finish seeing the patients. And then since um, the gentleman I had to go check, wasn't able to close my trunk, then I get on the phone and get on the hold with the rental car company. So then they're like, you can take it to this other place. I'm like, I'm busy, but we're gonna make it happen. You know, can't be riding around with the trunk open. So the next part is where it gets kind of funny. So I was supposed to do a presentation today for the National Medical Association meeting. So we had thought that the presentation was gonna be at three o'clock. And my question was, was it three Eastern or three Central? Well, when I heard back, it was actually two Eastern, which is one Central. So I was still 
at work and needed to go to my hotel where I have better Wi-Fi. So I'm like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll be there 15, 20 minutes because I have to get in my car, get to my hotel, and then do this presentation. Get home for this presentation. Everyone's having technical difficulties. They don't even, everyone doesn't even know I'm in the room. And by the time they finish, there's not time for me to present. So I rushed home, did all this rushing, got home, got set up, didn't even present. And that time I had different jewelry. It was so cute. My jewelry was so cute. It was so fly. So I'm like, okay. And this is the other thing is sometimes it doesn't go right. And if you stick in it and you get super frustrated, what does that do with the law of attraction? It brings all that negativity to you. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to be fine. You know, we're going to find some way to record this. It is what it is. So I go by the rental car place because I was going to switch my car out. Because as you remember, the trunk was flying open. So I go to the rental car place. And the guy goes out. He's able to get the trunk to close. There's some mechanism that I couldn't manually get back that the other guy couldn't that he did. So I was able to keep my car and not become a soccer mom in a minivan. So big ups for not being a soccer mom in a minivan. So, you know, I'm like, I got to win. But now I'm rushing back to work again. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Um, I guess you hear a theme. I'm always rushing, rushing, rushing. So, you know, I get back, handle some more stuff. They're calling like, hey, can you record at 5.30? I'm like, I'm like, I got a five, but we'll make it happen. So I get off from work, rush, 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 get home, set up again. Guess who can't find her jewelry because she had it on when she left earlier and didn't want to wear it into the hospital. So she put it in the cup holder and then apparently put it in the side of her backpack. And somehow or another somewhere, my earring came out. Now, these are brand new earrings. I bought this whole set this weekend. I don't know where the earring is. So, I, you know, I do my consultation at five. And as I said before, I'm loving this telepsychiatry thing. Loving it. Hi, Whitney. Thanks for coming on. And so I do that. And then I look up. I got four minutes between when I finish that and when I'm supposed to go on to do this presentation that I tried to do earlier. So I'm like, I'm going to be calm. I'm not going to stress out. I know I'm rushing, but I'm going to act like I'm not rushing. So, you know, I go throw a little powder on drink a little sip of tea and then it's like it's time to go on so get on and they're using a platform i don't use much we never were able to get my webcam to work it never wanted to see my webcam even though i literally hopped right off of a zoom to do it we ended up i ended up having to put a picture of me on a slide and say this is what i look like hope you remember <laughs> so you know, I think this is still that that theme of resilience and you have to keep pushing forward. If, if you let these little things get to you, you're just going to be frustrated because like had I got super frustrated about the trunk, the presentation earlier and all that stuff. By the time I got there, I've been toast. So I did the presentation. Lots of energy. They can't see me though. They, I, there's no video of me. I'm just a mystery voice. Mystery voice. And we go ahead and do the presentation. No video. And then I'm here. So the, the, the moral of the story is, is you get to decide how your day is going to be. There are times where things may go sideways, may not go the way you want, but you hashtag keep going. You decide, you get to decide if it's going to throw your day off or if you're still going to have a good day. Because the good thing is a lot of times with some of this stuff, and I'm not saying, you know, someone died and then all of a sudden you're going to have a great day. But for a lot of this stuff, there are hiccups and roadblocks. But if we shift our mindset to one that it will get done or you will be okay, then somehow a lot of times you can power through it and make it happen instead of being super frustrated. Um, let's see. Question. What could you have done to not think about your list of things because they all seem to be important? Sometimes you have to just think of the next thing. It's kind of like that quote that I'm going to butcher from Martin Luther King that they talk about. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You just need to see the next stair. Or they talk about how you can drive across the country in the dark, but you really, you can get there if you can just see where your headlights go. Is this, sometimes it's, you know everything you need to do 
one of the tips I do is I try to pick the top priority task, but like when your schedule's packed, you think about the next thing, then the next thing. It's hard to think about. If you think about all of them at once, it can be overwhelming. And I know for me earlier today, I was like, I had a, a work, I had a three, then I had a five, then a six, then a seven. I pushed, and what I did is what I can maneuver, I maneuvered. Instead of live streaming at six, I live stream now so that it gave some cushion for everything else versus, which worked out well because the taping went significantly over because we had issues with me getting into into the system. So some of it is, is sometimes you just have to think about the next thing and then you conquer the next thing and then you move to the next thing. It's kind of like one of my coaches, um, Coach B talks about this thing of how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And sometimes you have to go through your, your tasks or your things you need to do one thing at a time because I don't know about you. For me, if I think about everything because I've on other live streams I've pulled out when I had a master list of things to do, it looked insane, it was ridiculous. It was this long, narrow space, something every list, and sometimes a second page. And number one, you know you're not gonna get all that stuff done. So you're setting yourself up for feeling like you failed or you didn't accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish because there's no way you could do it. So I'm still a fan, even though I have to practice it, of just picking the top three or four tasks and then when it comes to my schedule, picking everything, kind of taking one thing at a time and then I have to at some point pick a day or so where I'm going to clear part of my schedule out. And I did that this weekend. I didn't I didn't see people from my private practice on Friday or Sunday because I knew I was just tired. So sometimes it's looking ahead to figure out when are you going to rest? And that's part of scheduling. A lot of times you find that when you get busy and hi Brenda, thanks for coming on, is you have to schedule you in. So just like I schedule in all my meetings, all these Zooms, all these presentations, I even schedule in these live streams. I put all of my schedule is that you need to Schedule your workouts, schedule your downtime and, and protect it and block it like you would an appointment because that helps make it feel much more manageable because otherwise it's just so much going on. And one of the things that makes it complicated right now is for a lot of people between either being home a lot because of COVID and now they're working from home or furloughed or the fact that because of COVID, everybody is ramping up either their side hustles or their entrepreneurial ventures or other things. And it's encroaching on your time. And you look up and all of a sudden you have, you got your day job, or if you have children, you're homeschooling and take care of the kids and that's all day. And then you have all this stuff for your own business at night and it all can run together. And I think it's a, it's a challenge right now figuring out the best ways to make sure that everything doesn't just bleed together to the point where you're tired. Because I will confess, I've been exhausted. I've had a headache every day for now at least between eight to 10 days. I can't remember if the headache started on Monday of last week or if it started on the weekend, probably the weekend. So it's probably been closer to 10 days. And I know it's just because I've been running myself ragged, so I need to do better and take my own advice. But, you know, just do what you can. You do what you can. So all that, all that story was to say is, number one, remember that you're in control of the narrative of your day. You're in control of, of how, you, how you process the emotional energy of the day. You're in control of deciding if your day is going to suck or if it's going to be good. So, and Rachel, who just hopped on, she's, she has like so much positive energy. She's, she's great with this is that you want to make sure that when little things happen, you don't let it totally derail you so that you can still have an intention that you're still going to have a good day so that you just make it through the challenges instead of the challenges owning you, you own the challenges. You push through the challenge. You're like, challenge, I ain't doing you today. I ain't doing you roadblock. I'm, I'm doing me. I'm getting my stuff done. Um, and then having grace at the end of all you can do is what you can do. So sometimes you have a million things to do and you don't make it through a million. You make it through 10,000. You celebrate the win for the 10,000. You don't celebrate the loss because you didn't do all 1 billion. So that's pretty much what I have, which is 
make sure that you are intentional. Make sure that you decide that you're gonna have a good day no matter what, so that if you have a challenge or a roadblock, that that doesn't set the tone for your entire day. It's okay if you get frustrated for a moment, breathe, breathe it out, do whatever you need to do to get past it so you don't take that energy into the rest of your day. And as I said, I know today I had just an insane amount of stuff to do and then the trunk thing threw everything off and the time in the presentation was a little, little rough, but you know, you, you just find ways and you make it through and this is a great way to manifest your creativity on how to kind of balance and make all this stuff happen. But I just want you to know that you can do it. I didn't do a million things, but I did at least five or six and that doesn't count seeing my patients. I did stuff. So if I can do all of this millions of stuff, you can do it, but I wouldn't advise you doing as much stuff as I crammed into today because it wasn't reasonable. So I can be honest with myself and say I was, I was so not reasonable. So I don't want you to be worn out like I am. So I want you to do better with, with planning what you're going to do so you don't end up with a million things to do. So that's what I got for you today. Again, I am Dr. Erica, Harvard-trained double board certified psychiatrist and integrative lifestyle coach. I'm on a mission to help women feel seen, valued, and whole on their own times. But I'm coming to you with over 15 years of human behavior experience to help you get through all of this madness with your sanity intact. And one of the things I have for you is if you are in Georgia, Tennessee, and now Massachusetts, you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, you can come to my telepsychiatry practice. I do more than meds, so sometimes people don't need them, so I don't give them. Um, it's a holistic practice. It's very well suited for busy people. And you can go to askdrgoodwin.com. That is askdrgoodwin.com and schedule your consultation. It's free, it's complimentary. What do you have to lose? So that's what I got for you today. Um, I will be back tomorrow with Growth Groove at seven. And then Wednesday I have something really special. I'm gonna be doing an IG Live with, with somebody. So I'm gonna put the information up. And it's, um, I believe at 8 p.m. And we're gonna be talking about mental health in the black community, especially because it is Minority Mental Health Month, which is also named after, um, they call it B.B. Moore Campbell, Minority Mental Health Month. So yay. So that's all I got for you tonight. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much for your love. I can feel all the positive energy coming through here. Again, tag anyone that you feel like needs to share it. And also feel free to put hashtag replay if you're watching it later. That's what I got. Have a great night. Bye.